YouTube, I am Toby and today we're doing a basic PC build. Uh, this is not going to be a high-end gaming rig or anything, this is just a uh, PC build uh, from uh, spare parts I've had lying around. Um, it's going to be a very basic build, but uh, let's start it. This is the processor we'll be using. This is a uh, Intel i3-2100 clocked at uh, 3.1 gigahertz. For our motherboard, we have the uh, Lenovo um, IS6XM, I believe it is uh, called. The socket is a uh, LGA1155 version. We have one PCI Express uh, X16 and uh, one just plain PCI Express. And then we have two PCI ports. This motherboard does have a uh, designated GPU. So we won't be uh, installing a um, graphics card in uh, this run. For cooling, we have a standard Intel uh, heatsink and fan. Uh, nothing fancy here. This is the power supply we'll be uh, using in the rig. It's a 280 watt power supply. Uh, it's not a whole lot of power, but it's enough to get this uh, rig up and running. We'll also be installing a DVD-ROM drive. This is a multiple card reader. This will also be installed in the rig. Here are two sticks of uh, 2 gigabit uh, DDR3 uh, RAM that we'll be uh, installing in the rig. Here is the hard drive we'll be installing. Um, it's a 280 gigabit uh, hard disk drive. Also we'll be installing a uh, 80 millimeter F8 uh, Arctic uh, intake fan. This is the case itself. Um, it already has an exhaust fan, some wiring to uh, different components uh, already installed in the uh, computer. So let's get started. All right, first off, you want to open up here to the uh, CPU slot. Um, this is not how you have to do it. This is just my personal preference. And you want to make sure that you put install the uh, CPU correctly, just like that. And then you just put this down here, and you can just tighten it down, just like that. The CPU is uh, now installed. Now let's put the uh, motherboard in the uh, in the case. The first thing you're gonna want to do is take your I/O shield and install it usually goes somewhere around here. Alright, now our I.O. shield is uh, installed. Now it's time to install the motherboard. When you're installing your motherboard, you want to make sure that the uh, all the I.O.s line up with the I.O. shield on the other side and that uh, you don't cover your screw holes. And for obvious reasons, the next step is to screw the motherboard in place. Okay, so now the uh, motherboard is installed. And the next step, before we uh, install the uh, CPU heatsink and, he uh, and uh, cooling fan, we want to put an ever so slightly small drop of uh, uh, thermal paste on the CPU. Not too much. See, this one's bothering me a little bit. See that? That right there, that's plenty. You don't want to overdo it because some thermal paste is conductive and well if you spread it out too much it will get into the contacts and short circuit your entire system. Alright, putting your uh, heat sink and uh, cooling fan in is a very very easy thing to do. Just make sure that the whole thing lines up where it's supposed to. Just like that. And when you tighten this down, you want to go like a, a cross pattern, like tighten this, then that, then this, and then the uh, other one back here. Uh, you probably can't see it, but you want to go like a, a little cross here when you tighten it down. Uh, this makes it so that the uh, pressure is even around the uh, the heatsink and the CPU, making for better better cooling. Be advised when you're tightening down the uh, heatsink and fan that you don't over tighten these screws. 
um, since this could cause damage to your CPU or other components uh, nearby, uh, just make them decently tight. Uh, when you start feeling resistance, it's time to stop. So now it's time to install the power supply. Make sure you install it the correct way, way for obvious reasons. This is the back side of the power supply and it goes in there. Alright, let's try and install this uh, hard disk right here. We won't be plugging it in right now. Now we just want to get it in the uh, in the system. This is a fun one. And, uh, let's see here. There we go. And uh, the hard disk is in place. Plugging in the uh, multi-card reader and the uh, DVD drive is not that much of a problem. Uh, they pretty much just slide right in. Um, the SD card reader did come with its own connector, so we don't have to connect anything directly to this uh, unit. Next up is one of the uh, easy things, uh, installing RAM. There's not a whole lot to this. You just pretty much open up the uh, RAM slot you want to use, just like that. Make sure that your RAM being put in the correct way just like that one stick is now installed and see if we can get make the other one fit in here as well and it looks like we might be lucky here yes and that's how you install RAM installing the arctic intake fan was not that much of a problem uh, I just lined it up with the uh, grid right here and uh, used some screws screwed in place. You can usually tell which way a uh, well a fan blows by the uh, sometimes there are little arrows on the uh, edge of the casing uh, telling you which way the propeller spins and which way the air goes. Um, you can also usually tell uh, from the back side here that well usually they blow towards the back side as you can see, our exhaust fan is uh, configured the same way with the little lighting lines here on the back side uh, indicating that it blows air uh, that way. Um, the next thing left to do is, uh, well, plugging everything in and uh, managing the cables. Now, I've managed the uh, cables to the best of my ability. Um, with a case like this, where there's no backside to put cables, uh, cable management is uh, not going to look very clean. However, it's not impossible to do. Um, well, one of the most important things is to make sure that your cables uh, can get into the fans. Uh, that could get pretty ugly. Uh, secondly, make sure that the that everything you need is plugged in and you may as well double check some of your connections uh, just to be sure that they are working but yeah the PC is built so uh, let's boot it up alright so as you can probably tell the computer is working and uh, right now it's trying to boot and there it goes alright so we did manage to uh, to make a uh, working computer um, as I said before, this computer, uh, the motherboard does have an integrated GPU, so I did not install a graphics card this time, but I will do so in the future. I hope you enjoyed my little uh, basic PC build here. Um, I know the channel is young and just started out, but uh, I'm still learning and I hope you are enjoying these videos. Um, thanks for watching.